It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys, we finally got ourselves a candle sale. Oh my goodness. It is a set price candle sale. And uh, we definitely got to take a look at this. I'm going to tell you my top 15 recommendations for the sale. And um, if this is a good deal, is it a good deal? Should you shop today? So we have a free shipping offer on 75 um, that I want to talk about. So we're going to get to these candles. Check it out. I'm being all springy today. I don't know why. I woke up today and um, I didn't feel like curling my hair. So <laughs> I put a little flower in. I got my uh, Avon necklace on here. If you want to check out any of the Avon jewelry, head over to my other channel, Beauty Geek. I'll put the link below. Um, I always like to do kind of an eclectic, shabby chic look. I've been doing it since the 80s. Um, in the 80s, uh, like Madonna and Cyndi Lauper taught us that you could wear like fancy jewelry with casual clothing. And I've been doing it in my entire life. So I picked up uh, this shirt from Kohl's for spring. I like this shirt because it's really, um, it's long sleeve, but it's light. And I didn't even realize that this necklace went perfectly with it until I, I paired it up. So I think this is a great spring outfit. I am I am definitely excited. Uh, what uh, kind of inspired this is this morning I was on Facebook and they're like, 50 days until spring. I'm like, yeah, I am rocking spring today. So I am going to share with you um, 15 candles that are spring inspired that I think are going to be good to burn into, um, you know, February, March. So right now, um, I, I always call this like the winter lull for Bath and Body Works because there's not a lot of like new stuff rolling in. We should be getting new stuff at some point. We're going to start, you know, seeing Easter, more Mother's Day stuff. Um, but there's a lot of good selections right now. There are currently 106 candles online. Some of them are Christmas candles that you can get for a little bit less. Um, the number one candle that you are going to want to check out today is the Feel Loved Valentine's Day candle because this is regularly uh, $32.95. It smells amazing. It smells like birthday cake. I love this candle. I just hate the price. $13.95. Now, if you have one of those 20% off coupons, I don't have my phone here. I don't have my calculator. Let me do the math real quick. I could probably do it in my head. Um, I'm just going to do 14 because it's easier. Uh, mine is uh, 20%. Um, yeah, what is that? Uh, that's going to come out to 1120 if you have that, um, the 20% off coupon, which is literally like the best price. I'm going to place an order today. Also get free shipping on 75 if you use the code SHIP75. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use your 20% off and the free shipping code at the same time because... We can't use two codes, which stinks. <laughs> However, um, you kind of kind of do the math. So if you're going to spend um, over 75, I would use your 20% off if you have the coupon because then you get $20 off and shipping is only $6.99. If you're going to spend 75 exactly, it's kind of a wash. I don't know. It's like one of those things like, do you do, I mean, it's actually better to use a 20% off, but do you want to save your 20% off uh, for another sale and just use the free ship? I don't know. You kind of got to do the math a little bit. Um, but Bath and Body Works in a way, I feel like is almost forcing people uh, to get to that $75 price point because if you buy like three candles and you pay shipping, you're like, eh, I'm close to that anyway. So it's kind of like, it's a tough one. I wish they were doing free shipping on 50 because it would be a much easier decision on what to do because then you could be like, yeah, I'm just going to use my, you know, free shipping and then save my 20% off. So it's, it's kind of a toss on that one. Other candles on my list among the clouds. This is a definite uh, must have, I think, for Bath & Body Works fans. It's part of the new collection. I love the pink lid. Um, it's got a little bit more of like a dewy scent or grassy scent than the body care. I really like it though. It's like a raspberry vanilla with a little bit of like 
a spring vibe going on and the packaging is wonderful. So I highly recommend this one. Um, Radiant Sky is actually a little bit better even than Among the Clouds. So you could get both of them. This one is super pretty. I love the rainbow. I feel like these are going to be something that you want to burn in the summer. Uh, this one has got the Rays of Sunshine, Golden Mango, and Juicy Lychee. It smells like sunshine in a jar. I love this one. Okay, so we got those. Um, looking on my list here, uh, there's a lot of new ones. Uh, Glacier Mist. I don't think Glacier Mist is going to be up my alley. I'm not sure I want to get that one. Um, Aloe and Palm. I might get Aloe and Palm just to try it out. Um, Kiwi Passion Fruit. I didn't think that was new, but they're saying it's new. I think I'm going to get Kiwi Passion Fruit to review for you guys. Pink Watermelon is always a solid, um, solid candle. I, I always love Pink Watermelon. Um, let's see. Raspberries and whipped Vanilla. A lot of people do like that one. That one's a little bit more true on Raspberries and whipped Vanilla, where Among the Clouds has got like that dewy, grassy scent. Um, there's another new one called Cozy Linen and Nectarine. It's getting good reviews. Um... Let me try that one. I'm going to pick out like seven or eight candles to get so that I can review them for you guys. Uh, my next recommendation that's a must have is Golden Honeycomb. Uh, to me, this is one of the really nice uh, foodie candles. Um, it is savory honey, cozy vanilla, and warm butterscotch. I'm just looking at the reviews though. It's kind of funny because this is not getting five star reviews. I feel like a lot of people, one person really hates it. <laughs> What person that hates it? Uh, buttery butterscotch. Um, a couple of people said it's average. A couple of people, there's Coco reverse sneezing. A couple of people said it was the best scent ever. I don't know. I love it. I, I would definitely um, recommend this one. I think it's wonderful. If you like honey, if you like vanilla, I think this is going to be your candle. I really like that one. Um, another recommendation that I have that I have not burned yet, but I love this one on cold, is the Sunset Desert. I got to review this one. Uh, it, it smells amazing. Um, it is juicy pomegranate, cracked peppercorn, and patchouli. Uh, I, I like anything with pepper and patchouli. I feel like this could be like a Halloween candle. Um, if you're in the mood for something a little bit more spicy for spring, uh, this is going to be your candle. I have a feeling this is going to be really strong too. Big recommendation. Oh my gosh. Pink, lavender, and espresso is fabulous. I love this candle. Um... It's about the most true, like, it's lavender, vanilla, but they also added, like, an espresso note, like a whipped coffee. It smells so good. Um, this is, like, in my top three. I'd say my top three uh, are, like, the Valentine's Day candle, um, for me at least, uh, pink lavender and espresso, and then the golden honeycomb. Those are, like, my top three. Uh, let's see here. Um, the bubbly rosé, the love candle. I actually... I, I get rid of that one. Didn't like it. I don't like bubbly rosé. It's not my thing. I don't know. I just can't tolerate it. Uh, that was not me. Uh, Citron and Tonic is new. I'm thinking about getting that one. I want to review some of the new ones. I really haven't gotten much new uh, because we haven't had a sale. Um, let's see here. Oh, Pink Lilac and Vanilla. I have to get that one. That one's on my list. It smells like Easter. You got to get Pink li Lilac and Vanilla. Um, let's see, Sunset in Maui is supposed to be new. Might get that one to review. Flower Child. Um, <laughs> I broke my Flower Child. I just have the wax. It smells really good. I like it. A lot of people are saying it's really light, though. It smells good cold. Um, it's like a florally vanilla, but I gotta try this on a warmer because all I got left is the wax. <laughs> um, let me see here. Blush Geranium and Fern is new. I'm thinking about getting that one. There's a lot of new ones that I really want to try that I've just kind of like put out of my head because we haven't had a sale. Um, Weekend in Rome. I actually like this one. This was in the peach stripey candle from last year. And I usually don't like peach, but if you like a strong peach, this one is a good one. It's strong. Um, it's bubbly champagne, juicy peach, and a hint of vanilla. And I gotta say, I like this pink packaging. This is beautiful this year. Um, springtime in Paris, not my thing. A lot of people liked the glass jar last year. Under the magnolia tree, this is a good one. Um, there's something about this one that smells... I must really like magnolia because... Um, Anything that's got magnolia in it, I am all about this. This is uh, magnolia petals, lemon zest, and peach blossoms. It is a really quality set. I love this one. Um, I'm thinking about getting the orange ginger 
in the aromatherapy. I don't know. I haven't had that one and it just caught my eye. Um, let me go through the list. The next page here. Uh, you know, what's funny is that these candles are so old. They're like on the next page. These came out months ago. Well, maybe, no, maybe not months ago. <laughs> Last month. It feels like months ago. Uh, Amethyst Dreams is really, really good. This collection came out like around Candle Day. I thought this was like the post-Candle Day candles that were then going to go on sale. Uh-uh. This was the spring line. This one's really good, though. Uh, this one is Solar Crystals, Smooth Iris, and Warm Musk. Hard to get a vibe from this from the scent notes. Like, what the heck is uh, Solar Crystal? It smells like a very um, sweet, fresh floral um, with an amber vibe. It's really nice, though. I like that one a lot. Um, Vivid Emerald, I didn't like. That was the, uh, looks like the Wizard of Oz. My favorite one in this collection, obviously, is the Strawberry Pound Cake. Do they even have Strawberry Pound Cake? I hope, yeah, they do. Um, this was a really, really good one, because you know I love Strawberry Pound Cake. And I love, I love the packaging. Actually, the Indigo Dreams with the blue, I have it down here somewhere. I'm not going to grab it. I'm going to fall over if I get off my chair. <laughs> I'm not going to get it, but it's a good packaging. And then um, we also have the, oh, Tea Rose. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, let's see. Um, Endless Weekend's a no for me. Champagne Toast. Oh, I'm not doing Champagne Toast. Blueberry Marshmallow. This came out. I, I reviewed this one like a month ago. <laughs> I actually like this one. Uh, this one is um, Sugared Blueberries, Sweet Vanilla, Toasted Marshmallows. I love this. I do. I like it. I burned it again. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just really growing on me. It's just like a blueberry marshmallow. It smells good. Uh, same with fresh cut lilacs. Love fresh cut lilacs. Paris Cafe in the White Barn is part of this sale. Get Paris Cafe now. <laughs> it's going to go away and you're going to be like, why did I get Paris Cafe? Uh, bubbly Rosé. Again, I think Bubbly Rosé is like one of the worst candles ever made. A lot of people disagree with me on that one, but I don't like it at all. Um, then you got a couple of the tropicals in there, like your Tiki Beach, your Island Margarita. Uh, laundry Day is a total no for me. I smelled it in the store. I don't like laundry scents at all. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, my mother loves this one. I don't like this one as much. Uh, Eucalyptus Rain. Um... It's a candle day candle. This is a candle day candle. I'm not even, am I seeing this one on here? Um, it's probably in here somewhere. I, I'm not crazy about it, but if you like eucalyptus, if you like uh, dewy eucalyptus, you're going to go with that one. Um, let's see, what else do they have in here? Uh, Into the Night, A Thousand Wishes. They've got warm vanilla sugar, iced dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, iced dragon fruit is fabulous. Uh, that's on page two. So make sure you go through all of the pages. Um, let's see, Rosewater and Ivy. Oh, Sugared Lemon Zest. That's a good one. That is a really good, uh, lemon. Not a fan of Ocean. Mm -mm, don't like, don't like Gingham. Oh my gosh, the Gingham candle for me is awful. I don't like Midnight Blue Citrus. Uh, remember Midnight Boo Citrus? <laughs> I like the packaging. I didn't like the candle. Um, let's see here. Did I miss any? A mahogany vanilla, like that's not my thing. Uh, a lot of people, oh, fresh sheets. Um, that's a new one that a lot of people are digging. Uh, I don't like laundry scents. It's just not for me. Uh, fresh sheets is actually crisp citrus, clean lavender, and watery apple. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Should I get that one, you guys? It smells like curling up in clean linen. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't have like um, like a eucalyptus. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. I don't have to try it. Like I said, I feel like there are so many candles that I've not tried. I'm, I think I'm going to get about like eight today. And then um, that way I can do a big haul. I can do uh, some more reviews. But um, like I said, I'm actually excited today that we actually really do have a candle sale. Um, $13.95 obviously is not like 
twelve ninety five, but it's the best deal in town right now. And then hopefully you have a twenty percent off coupon because that's really going to get you down to that low price, which is going to be eleven dollars and twenty cents. I feel like that's like the sweet spot. I'm so happy I have a coupon. Oh my gosh! So I can get more candles to review. Anyway, let me know what you think of the sale. Um, they're also doing the buy three get three on body care, uh, which again is not the greatest deal, and you want to layer in. Um, you know, the, the shower gel with your 20% off coupon, it's not the worst deal if you need need the shower gel. So anyway, oh my goodness, you guys, let me know what you think. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.